she's in special company of having been nominated for an Emmy daytime and now primetime. We're talking to you the warm and wise Patricia Darbo next. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. <laughs> Stop <laughs> letting laugh. <laughs> Oh, I love Garth Brooks. I love Garth Brooks. And so does Patrika Darbo. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Which is my hobby song in concert. Hi, welcome to Spotlight On. I am one of your hosts, James Lott Jr. And today we're going to spotlight somebody who's wonderful. But first, my co-host, the man that I always try to get next to in some form or another. Matthew yes. Evan Tane. <laughs> Glad to be here. And my homegirl is here today. She uh, plays Margot Mullen on the series Acting Dead. The show is hilarious. And she earned a primetime Emmy nomination for Best Actress Short Form Comedy. Based How exciting. Best. She's it's also known for, exciting. yes, it's very exciting. She's also known for a hugely popular role on Dance for Our Lives, of course, but she was nominated for a Daytime Emmy for Best Supporting Actress. She has a long and varied resume. He was starting out with Del Shores. Oh, that's some great stuff there. My girl, Patrika Darbo. Hi, Val. Hi, how are you? I'm very fine. Glad you came back. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. We haven't worked together. No, no. we haven't. But it's we the first have. time for everything. Uh, yes. <laughs> you don't forget your first, do you? <laughs> <laughs> He's fresh. Yeah, so she knows me already. She knows I'm fresh. <laughs> so we're going before we even begin, because I have to do an update of an update. So uh, the first picture, not that one, um, the next one before that. That's, that's, that's another one. That one. So I put it together. <laughs> so Patricia and I met, if you saw our interview 10 months ago together, we met in 1999, and she wow. was the nicest person. She won that year at the Soap Opera Digest Awards for Best Female Newcomer. So she did win an award, and then we, and we met up again about 10 months, 10 months ago, and we had to interview. So I put and it together. I have that picture on my piano right by my uh, statue. Oh, how so, oh, I thought it was fun. It's really nice. I so that's, oh, look at us. So that's over the years. And I know. Right I, like I said last time, I've lost weight. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and it sort of looks like my color has looked, just wavered a little bit. So. <laughs> we look good together. We do. Good. So I just want to bring what that up. What a cute couple. Yes, we're <laughs> a cute couple. Let them start talking. Do it. Start talking. So that's crazy. But congratulations on your um, on your Emmy nomination. It's thrilling. It's and it's very exciting. It comes from my peers, which means a lot more. So it's terrific. And it's something for a new kind of category that hasn't been done before, right? It's a. It, they just started it. It's the short form, which means it's 15 minutes or less and there's I think variety show in it also there's several other short form categories that are there so yeah so it's like the, this is the this is the way this is not even the future it's now all the digital stuff is happening they got to recognize it and you know and, and the Emmys and stuff it, you know it's so amazing to me we're talking about the future and the digital and this and we're sitting here on the radio there's a dichotomy <laughs> that's kind of like hello right hello. we're being podcasted that, that, we're that, also that, got that, you know it's, cameras and and, and, yeah. uh, and uh, Anthony and I were talking earlier today about the fact that no one watches television anymore I mean everybody's on their phone or their laptops or their something and it's crazy anymore but vote for me because I'm wonderful vote for her <laughs> folks tell us about the role of Margot Margot is an ex-talent agent, crossed it out now, um, or she's a travel agent, now she's a talent agent, and she may have to go back to being a talent agent, but you know, <laughs> who knows, she's versatile, yes. and, um, and she's a bear, and she's yeah. fun to do, I mean, I love all my wild characters. We're going to show a clip right now of um, a few, few minutes of her in her elements, and this is from episode two, Throw the Switch. Yes, we'll have him bring his own shoes. Uh, and you don't have to worry about bathrooms. He won't drink anything the night before. <laughs> Margot Mullen was my agent. Nice, but crazy. Her hairs are everywhere. And after drinking one <laughs> once, I always say no to a glass of water. Yeah, we're very happy, uh-huh. Bye-bye. Was that for me? Oh, God, no. It's a pilot for Fox. You're not there yet. <laughs> and I do have an audition for you. And I gotta say, this might be it because getting carpal tunnel from stapling your headshots to your resumes. You know, if you had a computer, you could just. Ah, here it is. It's a student film. Oh, and what do you know? They want zombies. <laughs> I told them that you'd done soap, so. <laughs> I have done soap. I've been lying. TV movies. <laughs> and even other kinds of movies when I needed the money. <laughs> and even a line years ago on the infamous live episode that oh, ended the long-running sitcom Too Much Family Love. Oh, Pablo. That's not funny. I'm supposed to be the funny one. Why is everyone so f***ing unprofessional? Starring Alex 
Alex Carboneau and Hunter Lee. <laughs> He flares this. So I want to shout out. So that's part. You can, you can go online and see. I mean, this, this series is really hilarious, and it stars uh, Brian B. Cock, who also then he created. Yes, and he did. He's the writer. So and Julian Clare, Eric Martzoff's in it. Our buddy Eric Martzoff. Now I saw they said also. Um, there's also episodes with uh, Carolyn Hennessy. Um, is there? Because she's Carolyn. Carolyn, I'm sorry. Yeah. Hello. 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 Another yes. the redhead. The redhead. Know, Car- yeah, what a doll I she love is. Her. And I love her. So talented. I mean, yes. I hope we get to work together on yeah, something yeah. in the future and stuff. So, she's, yeah. she's great. I've met her. She's great. Um, but it was a great series that's out. It's about comedy series about Hollywood zombies. And you have big hair. It's, and it's it, red. I think and... it's, 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 yeah, I have big People hair. People love you with big hair. They do. I have big hair. <laughs> I, you know, honey, it's from, I'm from the South. What we can do with a rat tail comb will just knock your socks off. I mean, it's amazing. I could make this hair look that big. It just, you know, when it's short <laughs> they're teasing, now. They're teasing so. it. That's right. Be Little wide. volumizer. Mm, <laughs> kind of crazy. <laughs> I love how the nameplate on, on Margot's yes. desk has the, <laughs> has <laughs> travel <laughs> Cross out and talent, talent written uh-huh. on. You gotta do something somewhere, but it's, you know it's a great premise though because there's so many zombies and so yes. such supernatural stuff going yeah. on all over the place. So this was a great idea that I just think I'll kill myself and then we'll just you know and then you work all the time. Yeah. Who knew? It's a great commentary on sometimes certain things becoming that's your way through. You try hard to be. I'm Shakespearean. I've done this. I we are actors. <laughs> we can do anything. <laughs> and Not, then something weird happens. You get a hit. The sense from the clip is that it's probably a lighthearted set. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's a lot of fun. I think everybody's. And you know what? The, when you're working for nothing, and I do mean that. I mean, it. We put it together on a shoestring. Brian's idea and everything, and everybody out. We begged, borrowed. The only thing we didn't do is steal. At least I don't think we did, and I wouldn't admit to it if we. <laughs> no, had, I can't. Um, right. But um, yes, at any point in time, <laughs> I wouldn't. But. Um, you know, this is the icing on the cake for me. I felt bad that some of the other people weren't nominated yeah. from it and the show didn't make it, but hopefully, uh, if if and when I win, I have to be positive, um, we can get money for a second season and some more work to it and have everybody back and stuff. And you could be the conduit it. to which they say, oh, this is a really good series, and then next time around. Well, it'll get it out there. See, yeah. sometimes people don't get to see what's on the internet, and yeah. um, it's a fun show. It's funny. Yeah, it's funny. And, um, and it, it pokes fun at things, and it's mm-hmm. it's kind of up to date with what's happening in everywhere so it's kind of fun and where do you film everywhere 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 that would give us a place for free <laughs> all in oh all right anywhere hunt we went anywhere and everywhere <laughs> whatever if we needed this and they said you could have it we went there it didn't matter where it was i mean there were rooms changed into certain things i mean you you learn to be inventive <laughs> how did That's it true. how did it come about your role on on acting dead um, I had worked with them, one of the producers, Susan Bernhardt, before, and she asked me to come do the part, and I because I'd worked on Misbehave that she had produced. Mm, yes, yes, she did that. And yes. so that was fun, and um, so I got to go do this. Wow! So if I can say anything to other actors, be nice to everyone. You shouldn't have to be told to do that, and every little job can lead to another job that leads to a bigger job. So be nice and take that job unless it's morally offensive. That can lead to a primetime Emmy nomination. Yes. Thank wow. you. But I know, but Congratulations. That is, that's so true. This that you be nice, just be kind to you. You never know who may come back around and give you that job. Well, you never know that, but you know, no one should have to be told that. And right. You should just normally be nice to people. Right. Um, but yes, every little thing you do, sort of, it's it all comes back some way. And I've been very blessed that it's come back. Yeah. Very rewarding for me. I always quote. Um, Karen McKenzie from Knott's Landing. She has a very famous speech called Pollyanna. It's on YouTube. You can look it up from 100 years ago. And she tells Gary Ewing that she's upset because, as she says, people should be nice. Nice should be the norm. That's part of her speech. And I love that. I, I, that stuck with me since I was like 10 years old. And it should be. Absolutely. Should be. Absolutely. And you're very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The noises you made. I know. I love it. The squeals. I love it. Um, I'm available for voiceover. Okay, hello. <laughs> the girl wants to work. Give her a job. She's ready. Um, now I'm going to show another clip. Uh-oh. Yes. Because this is when you were nominated for a daytime Emmy. Because I really want to talk about this because you were a person who didn't, quote-unquote, look like a soap actress. Uh-huh. And you were also a, in a supporting act. You got a Emmy I mean, for a supporting actress. I mean, you like you weren't like the comedy sidekick. You had a serious storyline. Yes, I and that's why I want to kind of just show a piece of this. This is from the Emmys 2000. Here are the nominees for Outstanding <laughs> Supporting Actress in a Daytime Drama. Carly on General Hospital. Sarah Brown. 
I love you. And I know it doesn't mean the same thing to you as it does to me, but I know that I know that you love me too. Sharon on the Young and the Restless, Sharon Case. It is such a miracle being reunited with my daughter again after all these years. But then I think of this Alice and the fact that she can come back and take my daughter away from me anytime, and that scares me. Nancy, on the days of our lives, Patrika Dorbo. You're coming to live with me. We're going to work this all out. But you have to tell your husband. I'll take care of everything with Craig. Don't you worry. Okay. <laughs> Alexis on General Hospital. So I just had a show like there was this kind of everybody screened for you and how, but it's like it was a serious. I mean, you were. I mean, you stood up. up you were with them. You were an equal, and you'd have to to go to like the lengths of like they make you want to go to in in daytime. It was fun. I you know watching it and stuff like that. I just how, how blessed I am because it, again this comes from your peers, so that was very rewarding. Um, and I have to say, those ladies are unbelievably talented. Oh, Sarah, Sarah Joy Brown actually and, won that year, but yes, she, she I mean, did. But. And um, and uh, but I, I was in great company. You were equal. Great. You weren't equal. But I, but I was in great company. So. Yeah. Do you remember when you found out about the daytime Emmy nomination? Oh, yeah. I announced. I was at the. I was in New York. I didn't announce myself. I had oh. another category, and I'm sitting there, not anybody to think about it. And they go, "I'm best supporting actress," and they say my name, and it was like. And I've just burst into tears. Aww. I truly burst into tears. Yeah. And Joy from On the View, yeah, um, she came out. Honey, are you okay? And I said, it's fine. <laughs> so it was. Uh, I mean, she was going okay, I, as only Joy Bay. Yeah, they do. Yeah, um, but it's it okay, was, honey. It was, <laughs> and it was like I I went from there to the airport to come home because I had to work. In, oh, so funny. it was like it was it was terrific. But it was I I just burst into tears and. Because again, I mean, that meant that the people that I work with on a regular basis mm -hmm. thought I was doing a good job. So. Mm -hmm. And what was it like when you found out about the primetime nomination? Oh, good question. I'm in the car driving across Minneapolis, no, Minnesota. We, we just left Minneapolis. Mm -hmm. I'm driving and the phone in the car, which I didn't know how to work, was starting <laughs> ringing and going crazy because the guy had synced my phone to this thing. And, and both Ralph and I are like this. And so I pushed the button, and the lady that was dog sitting said to me, You just got to help me. I swerved down the road like this. <laughs> I want you. So it was very exciting, very exciting. And Joy Behar appeared to control you. Yeah, it so me. I was like, no, it was the policeman going, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah. You know, like just drive safely, miss. <laughs> yeah. yes. Step away from the guy. <laughs> well, everyone in the chat room was just saying congratulations to you. Thank you. They're really happy for you in here. Our regulars are in here. Um, it's a, again. It, you worked opposite Nadia Borgen, who I, I know personally too. She's a great girl. Oh, she had a baby. I mean, incredibly beautiful. Incredibly. It's trying to make her look ugly. It's so funny back then when she was blue girl and stuff. You, she still looked beautiful through all the crazy I, that's, matted that's hair. That's the soap where she's Miss Ghoul Girl who turns into this incredible yes, so being. She's knock out. And then, then she opens her mouth and sings, and you're like, I, yeah, exactly. And then I'm, and I must say, I got to was privy to see a picture of her baby that she just. Had. Oh, you said, aww. What a doll. I'm sure. And let's talk about his good, his mom's lips. Uh oh. Ooh. Uh -oh. Beautiful. And that, and that family can sing, that whole family can sing. So oh, she, honey, I mean, that whole family is beautiful. They all beautiful, they're all beautiful, too. You have to take a rake to make any one of them look ugly. Like, like this. Yeah, so it's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, they are, too. <laughs> they're gorgeous. Then they open their mouths and sing or play an instrument. Yeah, they're like, it's oh, amazing. Oh, 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 like <laughs> My friends ask me not to sing. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, listen, I can do it if they ask me. <laughs> Oh my God, so as we move as we move along, we're going through your whole career. So we're through this. this is just we're your life. life. This is crazy. your life. Because he has questions, I have questions. So the next one we're going to show. Oh, actually, did you go to Dave's fiftieth? Yes. I saw you before that. Yes. What'd you think? It was wonderful. I mean, it was terrific. And the show that talk about talented people. Yeah. Most of the time, the audiences only get to see them as actors. But you'd be surprised the singers and uh, oh, right. that we had. It, it was unbelievable. I mean, just everybody. I, I don't think there was a cast member that didn't sing except me. I wasn't asked. But, <laughs> but I, I'm not around that much. And yeah. um, uh, it was. And Kevin couldn't be there because I'm sure Kevin would have been oh, there. Yeah, he's so, a, yeah, he's because yeah. he's wonderful. But it was it was 
was a it was the best. I wow. mean, to see first of all to get to see people that you hadn't seen yeah, for a long everybody time. Everybody was there, yeah. And it was terrific. And, and yeah. the crew that I adore, so oh, that yes. was wonderful. So. Who did you bump into at the day's fiftieth that you either that you were just really excited to see or that you were like, oh my god. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Oh, well, Peggy McKay, who I don't ever get to work with, she was there, um, and she's like another icon. Suzanne Rogers, who I adore. Oh, I love Suzanne. I love Suzanne. So I, I love Suzanne. I, everyone has nice, the same reaction when it comes to Suzanne. She's another nicest woman oh, on completely. the face of the earth. And you should have her on. She's so sweet. Well, I've interviewed her before. Oh, she's wonderful. And she's flirty and funny oh, and just and like another talented and sweet. Person and too. sweet. So, We're yes. trying to get her back on. Yeah. Over at uh, Edition Days oh, or Spotlight on. So, Suzanne. Suzanne, do a girl. Suzanne, if I see her, I'll tell her. Yes. You know, she needs to be on because she's yeah. a, she, what a nice lady. A treasure. Yes. A treasure. Yes, yes. Who else did I see there? Um, Drake was there, and Drake hadn't been to the show when I was there, so I adored Drake. And, um, He's a oh super nice guy, gosh. too. And, and who we were just talking about, Matt Cedeno. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. hot stuff, mm -hmm. everybody. You know, Brandon. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, of course, to see people that were kids. You know, Jason oh. Cook, who oh, hasn't yeah. been around, you know, it's just amazing yeah. to see the people there. And you know, your life starts going, oh, okay. <laughs> was there anybody you didn't want to see? Just kidding. Was there anybody so. I didn't want to see? <laughs> you saw there. <laughs> we'll get that yeah, shady. Yeah, I wouldn't tell you if I did. Exactly, get you that know, shady. There are, just, there are some people whose noses, they drown in a rainstorm. But <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's a great thing. I love that. They're all, I love that she's so positive. She's so bubbly and awesome. Uh. They, they love your giggle. <laughs> Thank you. They're saying that in the chat room. So the next thing is, now I can show that, that first picture you're going to show, because you do get asked about this a lot. Now, I, they want to know what happened to your character, because you were on the first season. We went into the beauty step parlor, by step. and we are never heard from again. <laughs> yes. Patrika, what happened? Yeah, Where what, did you go? Where did you go? We went into the beauty parlor, and we were never <laughs> referred to or talked to again. And if you look at that picture, some of the children went into a room. They did too, yeah. I know someone and did. never came out again. Yeah. And then another child was born. That's how <laughs> things happen. Now, I have to ask you, because I'm a huge Dallas fan, Patrick Duffy. I would walk through fire for him. <laughs> oh, good. He oh, wow. is such a nice, nice man. And you don't get to see the, the comedy side. I mean, people, I don't think people realize coming out of Dallas how funny he is. Yeah, that's what I heard. Um, and so he was he was the best. And then he went to b and B. I I saw him yes. there a little bit. Yeah, he was there, yeah. But he's he's a treasure, too. And Suzanne. And Suzanne Summers. Okay, Suzanne, amazing. And Suzanne was very funny because this was, instead of being like three cameras, we were this was filmed. So oh, it was okay. like, this is where you had to hit your mark and stuff like that. And Suzanne would be going, I just have to stand here. What do you mean I have to hit her? Well, she was used to the old format oh, and stuff yeah. like that. But what a, you know, just her looks alone yeah. can just, you know, oh, yeah. freeze you. And the, and just are so funny that you have bite the inside of your lips sometime to stand. And all the talented kids that were there. Oh, yeah. Know, so. Especially, what's her name? Who She, what, she, did, she did some other stuff later. Oh my God! I got her name. Are you talking about the blonde Stacy? Yeah, Stacy. Stacy. Yes. Stacy. 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 You know, Keenan? Stacy is yes, Keenan. She hasn't really done a lot lately. I don't uh, think cause I haven't seen her. I see uh, Angela, okay. uh, the, the the pretty one, yes. Um, yes. Uh, and um, and Christine down there. I see her. I haven't seen the others, uh, but like um, uh, most of the boys, I haven't really seen that much. But um, I'm I, my just blurred over as to the name and Peggy Ray of course has passed oh yeah yeah um but the the son that played the like Brandon the, the, Brandon was the older son but the one that was Suzanne's son in the yeah, middle okay he he was he, he played such a nerd which was yeah. wonderful but what a little jock he was on the baseball oh. team at school and all kinds of stuff so he was something else and uh, you know he's probably in college now or teaching football or something I mean that show went off like nine years eight nine years yeah. I mean it's incredible it did it going it like 45 and, and, <laughs> <laughs> yes exactly and Chris, well Christine has been doing a lot of stuff yeah. and she worked a lot of, and, and still does over at Gary Marshall and she's beautiful yes yeah. and she she's a lot, very good on stage she did a lot of stuff at Gary Marshall's theater oh, okay in okay, Toluca good. Lake yeah um, so yeah, I, I don't get to see them enough, but they, it was a nice little family that we had there. Did you know that your last scene of season one was your last scene? Period. <laughs> no, I had no idea. I thought we were coming back, and that's what happens, you know. I have to say though, and which, who is not pictured here, was Sasha. Um, yes, Sasha, Sasha Mitchell. You know, the minute Sasha came on the show, like a third or fourth episode, Peggy and I went, mm, "We're not long for yeah. this world." You came to star, and yeah. um, it it's kind of like Urkel because uh, yes. uh, he wasn't. Who was the center of that that show? He came on for like the third or fourth season, and yeah, yeah. the audiences go crazy. And I just want to say to the audiences, that's the power that you have. 
And seriously, yeah. It truly is because you can change everything that's going on. And right now it's kind of unfortunate that like Days is so far ahead in the things they do because the audiences aren't having a chance to say, could you change that to I fix agree. this? So it's it's been a little tough there, but that's the nature of the beast at this point. Yeah. Those scenes, season one with you and Peggy and Suzanne were fabulous. And what was so sad was that the, that the kitchen set had the door that led into the salon that you saw closed for the next eight <laughs> season, nine seasons. It's like they're in yeah, there and they're they can't in there. Get they're, they're, yeah, they're at work. <laughs> yeah. But you know, it's great because um, because I didn't get to do that. I was fortunate enough to do in the line of fire. Yes. Yes. Which so yes. Right. Was yes. the next one? Yeah. yeah. Which, which came um, because I wasn't under contract. I was allowed to go and audition for that, so it was great. Which I mean, was things a, work for good reasons and things. Great Absolutely. film. I loved it. I saw it in the theater. And a memorable scene. Yes. Yes. <laughs> right. that, that I still get st- I mean that's, that when I think about it I mean I, I look damn good um, because that was over 20 something years ago yes. and I still get stopped for that it was such a um, an iconic role at mm-hmm. this point um, and um, I there's occasions in the grocery store where I'll get like this and if you hadn't let him in you would still be alive and <laughs> what the hell was the dog tied up and for and you were so sweet <laughs> too <laughs> let, letting him in yeah. he was yeah, crazy yeah, it's like, it's kind of like oh <laughs> dead and um, Mary Van Arsdale who played my roommate in this was her really first film oh, okay. and she spent the entire morning being slammed up against that thing <laughs> beat the hell so I like this but it was, um, it was a great it was yeah. a, great, a great movie so. what was it like working with John Malkovich you know he Good. is amazing because he I had I was doing a stage show at the time and one of the young girls would, like grabbed me here like if I don't get to meet John Malkovich I'll kill you <laughs> so I had to like ask please could I bring somebody to the set which they allowed me to do and she is a theater major and of course John is big in theater he spent like two hours where they're setting this up talking to her about theater wow. and how important it was because she was a major at UCLA okay. and um, he was just darling but it's like when they called him time to go like John we're ready for you he just kind of went oh wow and wow. you just saw yeah. that character come alive in his being and it was like like this wow but he was he was wonderful and so and Clint Eastwood li- loved our scene in the bank okay and, yeah. and hired me to do Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil from that oh from that see yes, get, you is. never people, well think about Hollywood people if you guys don't know this people like to work with people they like to work with they like to work with people they know can deliver but also who are nice to be around it, it was very it was very yeah. flattering and so I got to work with you know John Cusack, which is not there. Yeah. And, and I forgot that I worked with Kevin Spacey. Somebody said, "You were working with Kevin Spacey?" I said, "No, I wasn't." Yes, you were. No, I wasn't. Oh. <laughs> and he said, "You did the night." And I said, "Oh my God, I worked with Kevin Spacey." <laughs> it's like okay. six degrees it's, of Patricia Darbo. Right? I was like, oh, like this. and I have not worked with him though. I'm one degree away. Okay. But from Kevin, I haven't worked with you. <laughs> Okay. So anyway. Is there anyone that you haven't worked with aside from Kevin Bacon that you would like to work with? You know, I don't pick, I, I will work with anybody. <laughs> just go with anybody. Um, you know, I mean, I, at this point, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I've worked with, with Clint Eastwood. He's an icon. I've worked with, um, I'm, I'm totally blanking on who I was just going to tell you, Sidney Poitier. Oh my God, one of my idols. Yes. Uh, Sydney, listen, Sidney Poitier. He's sitting where you are. The casting director's out there. She says, Patricia, are you ready? And I went, yes, I'm ready. And then I went, ah! No, I'm sitting this close to Sydney Poitier. And when my mother finds out, she is just going to shit. Pardon me for saying that. And then I went, I went, oh, my God. And then I went, yes, I'm ready. <laughs> but I'm about a major breakdown yeah. at that point. Yeah. But, yes, it's like, Sydney Poitier. I know. I, I can't even It's imagine. like this, you know. And I think that's what's so wonderful that's – the things that's changed with the business because now you don't get that opportunity. Yeah. Now everything is put on camera. You don't uh, get to interact and see, the, you know, and, and yeah. probably that breakdown that I had was what got me the, <laughs> the part in the first place. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of who directed Charlie Wilson's War and I, oh. who just passed. Um, oh, um, oh my God. See, I just went right out of I'm my looking at his name. He just, he did just yes, pass. I'm looking yes, at his name right he, now too. And I, I apologize for yes, not being you can look it up. But, um, you know, I auditioned for him, and my agent, or my manager at the time, Bobby, Bobby had been going, you went in with him, you gotta be this, you gotta be this, you gotta be, by the time I got there, I had no neck, I I was like one big nervous wreck, and I started, and I went, I have to stop right now, my manager has just driven me crazy, and I'm trying to do something that's not right, and I am so sorry, but I need to start this over, if that's okay with (laughs) me. And he said, 
as he stopped laughing at me at this point, and then I got to do that movie. Oh, that's so funny. Again, Mike, Nichols. Mike Nichols. Mike Nichols, that's oh, right. Love oh, Mike Nichols. Oh, so, yeah. oh. Yeah. You know, and films. to be in... Uh, oh. A Mike Nichols film, hello. Oh. Hello. Uh, uh, you know, it was great. And I was doing Alan's... Uh, uh, Aaron Sorkin's Lost Boys. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
Well, you don't want to. I think you don't want to become a caricature of them. You want to be. Remember that the writers have given you, and the writers are producers on Supernatural, which I haven't done. It's been on twelve years. Hello, guys. Anyway, just in case you're watching, it hasn't been on twelve years. It's been on forever. um, They um, they wrote it, and um, and I want to tell you their names right now, but now since I've said do this, I can't. But anyway, um, uh, the. I lost my train of thought. They're selling myself on the side of the street. This is so awful. <laughs> You're talking about the road the riders for Rosanna. Oh, the, I mean, you just you want to honor yeah. their words yeah. and make the person real um, instead of be a caricature of it. And I, you know, at this point, the, the script lady, I had said to her, if if Patrika drifts in, please let me know so I can try to drift her okay. out. Okay. Um, because in that moment, sometimes you revert to what you do, and so oh. and and um and I think also too, if if I set the character's voice beginning if I waver away from it at least you're still hearing her um, mm. because you, you you're you into what you're doing right. so I think that's a, a lot of times what happens there wow, you were actually on an episode of Rose <laughs> yes, 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 yes you were that too yes. and that's a lovely thing that keeps on giving too uh, I, got <laughs> to play, uh, I got to play Dan's dream lover which yes. was so much fun <laughs> uh, yes and uh, uh, it, it was amazing uh, and it's good to work with her and then yeah. to be her I mean so I had sort of, and yeah. she and she was in charge. She so knew she what she wanted, and she had one of my favorite shows of, of, of all time. I love that show. When she exactly. finally, when she really found her footing, the first she was not a great actress or anything like no. that. But when she finally found her footing, the show had moments of brilliance on it. She was terrific. I mean, I have to say, one of my favorite shows was the one where Darlene writes the poem. Oh, that's that's a good one. Um, and if you haven't seen that one, yeah. try to find that because yeah, that's that's a good one. That's really one. It just your heart just. Well, also the one where her father dies, which she finally gets home, or whatever it's called, and he dies, and she says her last little bit while he's in the in the casket. She pulls out of her chest. She pulls out a a note reads it to forgive him and forgive herself and then throws it in there and says I love you dad and walks out and I saw like a baby trying to see it it's, it's well that's I mean there's certain things yeah. that we all see the shows that just suddenly but that was her she was like yeah. I want to capture that, real that middle moment. class life Jackie's uh, abusive oh boyfriend oh my god oh yeah that whole episode well, dad beats it, him up it, and everything oh yes. my god you, you talked about Roseanne not being the actress I mean she's a terrific comedian as we know and but she she was surrounded by wonderful oh, talented sorry, people so um it, and they brought those things out. I mean, sometimes things can go this way, but this was like. Up oh, she got better. Oh, she got better. I mean, just wonderful. I think, yeah, so. I agree. But she was in charge. You said she was definitely. Yes. Ooh, I love that. Yes. But why not? I mean, so they get they say what men show, The show says Rose. Hello, it right? Didn't say Joe Blow. It's just right. Rose. But do you think she's got a bad rap because she's a woman, kind of? Because I know with men that run the whip, they don't say anything about them. I, well, I mean, think it's true. I mean, think it's true, and we can be bitches, but um, you know what? Um, at this point, um, there's a difference between being right and yeah. being a bitch. Yes. You know, and I think sometimes what you're saying that that she's right, and then she's labeled as a bitch, whereas yes. the man would be. He's very intuitive about this whole. Right. Thing. Exactly. But that's the world we live in. It's a uh. man's world. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. He's like, he's so please. Sorry. Please he loves apologize. Loves yeah. Say, he looks and he looks like he's in shock. I'm, no. like, I'm a little scared like I've done something. I'm not scared. <laughs> okay. What was the point in your career that you thought to yourself, I might have made it? Oh. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I think I'm waiting for that right now. Sometimes I think, I think uh, I've got so much to do and so many more things to do. I, I don't ever want to be complacent and think, I've done it. I, 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 every every new thing is an adventure, and I want to do more, and I want to get out there. I want to produce now. I want to I oh, want to yeah. do everything. Um, so I don't think I've reached that yet. I, at least I don't hope I haven't. I want to keep going up yeah. and doing more and being involved in everything. So is there anything that you haven't done that you want to do? Uh, at Broadway, I'd love to do something oh, on Broadway. Yeah. I mean, I've not done Broadway. Broadway, I think that would be a fun thing. Either yeah. a straight player, and I could I could sing. <laughs> we look off camera for a second, can you? Know. Um, yes. I could ask any of the chickies in my pen. They'll tell you I'm the biggest mother in. <laughs> so I could do that well. I could do that well. I sing that as I clean my apartment. And <laughs> <laughs> you know, right? I like that, dog. You yeah, like that. <laughs> I wanted to ask a question. Okay. About <laughs> okay. have you ever had an experience? You've worked with a lot of uh, child actors. Have you ever had any experiences where you thought, 
Wow, they're fresh. <laughs> you know, I really haven't done that. I think a couple times um, on Days of Our Lives, I, I said something to uh, one of the actors there that, you know, that came in late, wasn't in hair and makeup when he was supposed to be, and um, did I say he, she, yeah, oh, well, well, yeah. Sure. And I, you know, I said to him, you know what, they're not going to yell at you. They're going to yell at the hair and the makeup people, and that's wrong. Oh. Get your ass upstairs <laughs> and be on right, time right. and be professional. So that's the only time it was someone on it was someone on days and um, you know and I overstepped my boundaries because it wasn't my place to do it but we happened to have the same makeup and hair person okay. and I didn't like to see them get a, yelled at yeah. because somebody was not ready and I just mother hand <laughs> yeah. went and said something so but isn't it the crew people to understand the crew and all these shows especially soap shows work incredibly hard they're there before you get there they're there after you leave. If the they're your my, hair person, they have to yeah. get there to plug in those rollers or plug yeah. in that lawn and get them hot and ready to go. If they're the other, they make sure their brushes are clean and everything's ready to go. So they have to be there before you. So be respectful. And because they're not going to yell at them, are you, they're right. going to yell at them for the person not being ready. So yeah. and there's, that's just inexcusable. Wow. The resume that long and, and it happened on Days of Our Lives. And you are heading back to <laughs> Salem. Yes, it is, folks. <laughs> He's heading back. That's all we can say. He's coming back. Yeah, I'm heading back. It'll be a while. Tune in, but so, keep watching. So you seem to like you. You keep coming back, or if you know, you know. You know what? I I show up on time. I'm in hair and makeup <laughs> when I'm supposed to be. I know my words when I'm supposed to be. Um, and um, it's a family that I enjoy being part of, and I'm very grateful that the producers um and. Ken, and I got to do yep. um, in the the ladies of the lake. Yep. Which I'm I'm in talks with Michael oh, Caruso sorry. to have him uh, on. Uh, oh, on love on. Michael and, I did too. and Barbie. They're just yeah. wonderful. Well, I love Winter and, Thorn. So, and yeah. um, well, but uh, this is terrific. And Kyle Lauder. And, yes, I know um, him. My He's first great. Brady. He, he yes. they put it together, and yeah, I'm very excited. it's a lot of fun. So you got to see that too. So I'm you know. Yeah, I'm working on having them on the on show because they're they're great people. Michael's so nice. He's the super best. Nice. He's so and he you know he he's another one of those people that. He sees the entire picture. Mm -hmm. It's not just your hair's out of place or the, the flower's in the wrong place. He sees the, the whole thing and makes sure that it's all perfect and the way he wants mm -hmm. it, he's terrific, and he's right. He has a great eye. Yes, that's... That is, he has a great eye. He summed everything up. I went like this. I don't know, you're very more theatrical. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm an interviewer, so I can cut it down. Great eye. How about talk? Great eye. Great eye. That's it. Yes, anyway, so... Okay. so yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, how did you find out that you were coming back to Days of Our Lives? Was it a phone call? Or? They called my agent. My agent called me. They want to book you. And so I said, okay. And I'll be there. Hollywood. <laughs> Not complicated at all. Let, well, Let me think. No, okay. Yeah, it's okay. Burbank. Oh, yeah, Burbank. Okay, Burbank. <laughs> kind Beautiful of downtown Hollywood. Burbank. <laughs> yes. So you must have great people helping you organize all this. Stuff. I'm going to organize. So I'm like... These different jobs you get, you have to make sure your schedule is really on point. So you can do this job and that's no. Uh, well, uh, let's just put it this way: I have this fabulous publicist yes. at this point, Anthony Turk, who <laughs> yes. emails me, who texts me, and says where I have to be and what I have to do now because I've gotten very busy because of the nomination. Thank you. Thank and, you. Um, and and one thing he said back to me is email that makes that you got this so that I know. So um, I'm like. Printing them out. My husband's marking the calendar, and okay. so we're all staying the team. And organized and stuff. And then every once in a while, there's a frantic call like, "This one's canceled, but they want you here for this one." So it gets a little <laughs> chaotic at times. But it's it's good to be busy, yes. and it's it's a, it's a it's a good bad thing. So yes. And when can we see you air on Days of Our Lives? Um, probably in November, I believe it'll start and stuff. Like that. People are getting excited. They're saying, "Will she bring joy with her?" We've never met Joy since a baby. She can't answer that. And she also wants to know how long you're going to stay. We can't answer that either. But tune in. Tune in. They're excited. You got, you got, you got, just got to tune in. Write letters. <laughs> right, exactly. Tweet people. Yes. It does work. <laughs> Dear them. Ken and Marnie. <laughs> <laughs> but tweet them. Anything. Do it. So, well, you know, it is, it's, it, it's the head writers who have to come. Yeah. Their stories are so far ahead. And they really, I mean, and they work, they work a long time trying to get because they have to get every character woven into somewhere or another. And, yeah. um, so it's, uh, I give them kudos. Yeah. I will come back if asked. Okay. I love it there. I love that. Do you have a, do you have a dress for Emmys? No, I'm going tomorrow to Apollo 2, who has done all my gowns before. Okay. You don't have to ask me that question, Hills, of course. And he's going to 
design something for me. Okay, we're well, good. Yeah. You should have Paul and Patrick on sometime. They're pretty sure. crazy. Sure, we'll, we'll What color are you thinking? Well, um, my publicist thinks it should be sort of like an emerald green or a Ooh. royal purple or something like that. Sounds Ooh. beautiful. Sounds beautiful. I mean, it'll work with you. It does work with you. Thank you. I think so. I agree. You had mentioned your husband. <laughs> I heard you and your husband have a fantastic little love story. <laughs> My husband and I met um, in the Little Theater, Burbank Little Theater, um, and uh, I was in the chorus, and he was the stage manager, and um, we started dating and building sets and doing everything together. Then we went over to the Golden Mall Playhouse, which was another little theater, and we got married on stage, on a set for Barefoot in the Park, which is a young couple <laughs> that my yes. husband had designed. We got married by um, Judge Andrew Weiss. Uh, he came there, and we... Got married in front of the curtain, all scalp That's so funny. vines and stuff, and then we raised it and had the reception in the apartment. So, yeah. So, and we've been married forty three years. Oh my jeez! Jeez! Yeah. Wow. Congratulations! Yeah. When's your anniversary? December 29th. He married oh. because of tax purposes. Damn <laughs> him! <laughs> Good man. Okay. Sure. There you got it. So one last question before we have to go. You, you one last question before we go. Yes. I'm trying to see if it's a scripted question or. <laughs> I'm leaving it for Matthew. You tell you what's your last question. My last question would be: In addition to uh, Acting Dead and your reprisal on Days of Our Lives, what else do we have to look forward to? The for... Ladies of the Lake, um, yes. which is going to be coming out, and then I'm auditioning, so hopefully something will come out of there. Like I said, I've never been on Supernatural, Criminal Minds, NCIS. Uh, Which is shocking. Everybody's on those shows. Come on. I know. But you know what? Um, they don't have a lot of dingy women. <laughs> no, I could be a judge. You could be a judge. Or a doctor. Could. Yes, you could. A dead person that comes back. <laughs> a witch. Now, don't look at me. Couldn't I be a vicious villain? You'd never, you'd never suspect me. That's true. No. You could totally be biting and, I and bitchy. I like to see it. I could be a CIA spy. Good. You could play anything. I am. Except an instrument. Damn, I'm not musically. <laughs> no, I'm mean with the spoons, baby. Get me some spoons and I can play the spoons. Next time I'm bring some spoons in. Next time I bring some spoons Do you on. like playing good or bad better? You know what? It was good to be the bitch, um, but I, as an actor, I like to do anything and everything. It's like, just give me a role and let me go after it and stuff like that. But I can be vicious. Ask my husband at 43. <laughs> <laughs> the answer when it comes to acting, the answer is never no. <laughs> never, you, you know, only if it's morally offensive. It's something that morally rubs you the wrong way or you just feel, this is gratuitous crap, then yeah. don't do it. But if it's something that's like two words, uh, the biggest check I ever got was from the A-team, the A-team, oh my, my God. My words were, from where? <laughs> that was it. They forgot to put me in the credits. They forgot to do that. So I think those two words cost them $5,000 each. Oh, dang. You know, but, and then the reruns, which ought to be starting now because there's so much on the TV. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, but right. you know, um, so yes, I have been around. Um, but yeah, so there are small things, worlds, uh, but you make them your own, do things, you know, that's the best thing. You've made a career of it. I have, honey, and I'm going to keep on going. That's right. Good. Thank you. Thanks Good. for being on. Thank, Thank you. you for coming yeah. on. Thanks, Matthew, for inviting what me to you. What a pleasure. <laughs> yes. So Thank glad. You. Isn't, isn't Thank she like you. this? Isn't she this the, yes. the group? Yes. Will you stay for every show? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're not leaving. There Screw were a guys. couple of times I thought, like I said, you looked like you were here in the headlights. I was just enjoying every moment. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd scared the hell out of that one. <laughs> well, Parchika Darbo is on Twitter at Parchika Darbo. You can find her there. Uh, Matthew, where can they find you? You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Matthew E. Payne. Thank you, everyone, who's in the chat room for watching and, and, and talking. And she's, Hi, she appreciates Thank you. it. She appreciates it very much. Spotlight Ons are on AfterBuzzTV.com. We have them on iTunes there, too. Just look for her name. There's two of them, actually. I mean, this one and the other one that we did I last year. I reading something. Damn, no, it's all, no, all good. memory. He's a very smart good. man. Yes. Good. <laughs> and I'm James Lodge Jr. You can follow me on all the media platforms at James Lodge Jr. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff. We would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. 